Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check the trailer out for Talbar. And I'm Nathan. And I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. And something feels different. Uh, yeah, Rachel's <laughs> sitting back there. Uh, she wants to try it out because her back hurts really bad sitting in these uh, the metal and the she chairs. Trinity. And yeah. I miss my toy. And so she thought those chairs right there might be a little more comfortable, so she's going to try that. Let her know how much you guys dislike this new setup. I'm sorry, y'all. Thumbs down because you don't like it. Yeah, thumbs down because well, not thumbs no, down the video. No, don't thumbs down. Don't no, don't don't dislike the video. Just put it in the comments. <laughs> Tag Rachel in it. Tag me. Tag me. Say go back to your your original chair. It looks better. But real quick, before we watch this trailer, just want to say thanks, guys, for all your support of the channel. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, please. Beep. Followed by that notification bell. Beep. I sound so weird coming from back there now. <laughs> I don't like this, folks. But you know what? Let's check the trailer out. <laughs> You'll be over it. Mm. Numb. Numb. Shruti. Dundan. Are you? Jada Sal. Janan Tithi. Jobis March. Mrityu Tithi. मार्च घर में चार लोग थे दो जिंदा है और दो डेड आप कहना क्या चाहते हैं एक ही रात में दो दो कतल हुए घर में मतलब दोनों पता नहीं चल कमाल सब वो बहुत दुखी रहने लगी थी बहुत ये लड़के माफी मांग रहे अपने डैडी से डैडी गलती हो गई आगे से नहीं करूंगी कौन सी थी वो गलती मैंने खून नहीं किया मैंने अपनी बेटी को नहीं मारा तो तो किसी बेगुनाह को सजा मिलने से अच्छा है दस गुना कर छूट जाए नार्को टेस्ट के रिजल्ट्स में ऐसा कुछ भी हासिल नहीं हुआ है जिसके पूते पे ये कहा जा सके कि उनका अपनी बेटी के मर्डर में जरा सा भी हाथ था उस रात और लोग तो थे वहाँ तेरे में तो वो इसी में करोगे तो ये केस वहीं खत्म हो गया पहली टीम के मुताबिक नौकर कातिल है और दूसरी टीम कहती है कि पेरेंट्स नहीं मारे सर बहुत ही धूत और मक्कार किस्म के लोग हैं दोनों ये पति पत्नी सर ये सब इन लोगों ने मनगढ़ कहानियाँ बनाई हैं हर बारे में तुमने इंसाफ की मूर्ति देखा है जिस दिन समय ने आंखें खोली उस मूर्ति के हाथ में एक तलवार भी है इंसाफ 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 होगा मगर पिछले साठ सालों में उस पर जंग लग गया है Talk about the stuff for justice and all that, and the sword becoming rusty. That looked, uh, that gave me kind of chills on one part when he was going off in the police station. Oh yeah. On those people, because uh, basically it kind of seemed like he was yelling at, getting on that one guy for being incompetent about the crime scene and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. ah, that looked really good. That was a pretty intense uh, trailer. What'd you guys think? It looks like a good, uh, a good movie. I just want to know who did it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Um, because the the trailer, I mean, at least from the trailer, it's making pretty good. Uh, not pretty good, but it's making arguments for it was the parents or it was the servants. The or the servants. And then they get you with showing and then, both. Mm -hmm. And know, then the honor yeah. killing. Yeah, then the That's honor right. killing and um, hey, if you if you basically confess, you'll get a lighter sentence. I hear that a lot. I, I listen to a lot of true crime Just podcasts. Yeah, I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and, they, and they'll play uh, actual police interviews. And you hear that a lot, stuff like that. It's like, you know, hey, you know, we, we can plead you down to a... You know, lighter sentence. You just gotta confess and all this stuff. And it's crazy. Uh, there was one I listened to where the people confessed, and it, come to find out, they had, they had absolutely nothing to do with the murders. And it's like, how do innocent people end up confessing and stuff like that? But because they think they're they think that they're actually gonna get pinned for it no matter what, so they're yeah. like, oh, a lighter yeah. sentence. 
take it while I can. Yeah, that's crazy to think about too. What did you call it, Jordan? The co the coerced um, confession. What did you call it? Coerced confession. No, he, he's something like a system trap or something like that. What? what? Is that what you said? <laughs> The Wait, I'm so confused when you're talking She about. means that you when you when Dad said you'll hear that a lot about confessing you'll go to lighter sentence. When you said it was a trap, that's what she's talking about. Yeah, what what kind of a trap did you call that? So it's a trap. Yeah, oh, you just said trap. it was a trap. I, I thought the, you said system trap. I think trap being up on that reason. chair back there is giving you higher altitudes, less air, oxygen or something, getting to your brain. You okay, man? <sighs> I mean, because that's always said, you're like, hmm, what was that sophisticated word you called it? System trap? Oh, it's, oh a trap. Yeah. What it kind of, was it a mouse trap <laughs> or a rat trap? <laughs> Trudy, what did you think? Oh, man. That, that was pretty intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to mm -hmm. believe it wasn't the parents and the servants, but then... I mean, you want to believe... <laughs> you want to believe... You want to believe it wasn't the parents, but it was the servants. So there's a third party to this. Right? <laughs> Leave her alone. Because you don't want it to be her own parents. You know what's right, crazy? Yeah. What happened if the parents paid the servants to do it? Oh, oh, I've watched a, I've watched a case on, that, on something similar to that too. Paid his uh, mechanic or his lawn guy or something to kill somebody for him. Killed his wife. Nathan, aren't you a lawn guy? So. Are you telling a story about yourself? Rachel. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, because I, well, I felt the sock. I was like, "Why well, don't turn his barefoot?" But yeah, yeah, that was um, another one of those uh, kind of. What was the one we watched the other day? Drish, Drishium. It was another uh, crime thriller type where the the guy disappeared, and they were blaming the guy for yeah, it. They were blaming that family. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, blaming the family. And this is oh, kind of like another one. I think it was called Dr Drishium. Drishium. I think so. Uh, this is another one that kind of along, along the same route. So like a. A crime thriller, like who done it, sort of thing, mystery, and this uh, those really intrigued me big time. So that look, that looked really good. Uh, yeah. I, the synopsis is pretty clear. It, it, is it? Who done it? Oh crap! I no, but I mean, what synopsis. what the movie is about? Oh, I, I got the synopsis. Oh okay, good. Yeah, of what the movie's about. So I don't. Do we need to hit a synopsis? Anybody want to guess before I say this word? It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, I think it was pretty self-explanatory. Daughter. And okay, so you shall forever hold your peace, mister. Yeah, okay, just hit us with it. Synopsis time! See, I'm so glad I'm not up there anymore. Troy, did I even get close to you? No. I mean, you kind of got right here. But if you, you would have got any closer, I probably would have bit your finger. All right. So, it was the couple finds their teen daughter dead on bed, and the male servant was missing. It was assumed the servant killed her, but after a couple of days, his body was found on the terrace. Mm. Case was handed to the CBI, which is uh, equal to our FBI. The parents were found responsible, but there was no proof, like fingerprints, narco tests, along those lines. They were clean. So, after 11 years, the case is still unsolved. Wait, there's no, there's not been a. Uh, so see, this is what happened. Wow. Okay. Was not so, um, servant did the it parents. Kill yeah. I got, I got a couple of different theories here. Just, just listen here. The parents paid the servant to do it. After he did it, probably got upset after seeing their dead daughter and just finished him off in anger. Or the servant did it with an accomplice. Accomplice? Well, he did accomplish it if he, if he was the one. Anyways, you know. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, buddy. Accomplice? Shut up. <laughs> and, you know, maybe one of them was uh, breaking. I was about to tell on ourselves because, you know, lighter sentence most of the time if you just fess up to it. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, I can't, I can't, I can't go, buddy. So he killed the partner. <coughs> he hasn't been found yet. <coughs> I think, I, I think the servant did it and then killed himself days later at That's a hospital. That could have had, that could have been a... Maybe it's Troy did there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of murder cases where someone murdered someone and then a few days later they killed themselves out of guilt. It's called they, a murder they, suicide. They felt guilty. No, that, no. That's not. Murder suicide happens at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So it'd be something like this. Yeah. Yeah, like I killed you and now I'm going to kill myself. Well, I already have the gun, so yeah. I'd be killing you and myself. Make sure but, you put fish did, well, I think, did, like, I, <clears throat> it's an unsolved mystery and all that, so watching... That already tells you that watching the movie, it's four years old, so I'm sure none of you, it's not spoiling anything for you guys, but so you watch the movie basically to find out at the end, it's still unsolved. It's well, sad. if you didn't know the synopsis, it'd be a really good movie to watch. Well, I still want to, I still like to see it to see the take on Trinity, you had it pulled up though on your wiki, the real. Yeah. Um, thing, what year did that take place? Did this take place? Uh, the two were killed on the night of. 
15, 16, May 2008. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> so what, um, does it give any, any sort of like update or um, uh, like see. any reasoning? Like um, no. like, like down, down further in the wiki, does it say anything like about the why the parents were thought to have killed her? The kids because they were the two home um. and they didn't hear a single thing. Which is would be suspicious as a cop. You know, that is true. four people in the house, two die. Finally, on, a, on October twelfth, twenty seventeen, the court acquitted them, calling the evidence against them unsatisfactory, and several criticizing the police, CBI, and the media for not having investigated the murder properly. The case remains unsolved. Yeah, you gotta talk louder. I don't know if that probably could. The hear. case remains unsolved. Yeah. But it's that 2017 they were found and quit, so this was four years ago, which means the movie maybe ends with them being arrested <laughs> for the murder. So now I'm all sorts of confused then about the mur about the movie, how it's going to portray everything. Is it going to portray at the end, it's going to come across then as the parents were responsible, but then you find out a couple years after the movie come out that they were acquitted? Well, I, I bet they'd be taking a big plunge for that if so. No, that's true. Uh, Lost the accusement and made a movie. If I was the parents, I'd sue the crap out of them. Well, well, but at the time, though, if the, if the, depends on how the movie portrays and how it ends. If it just ends that they they have been arrested and are currently waiting trial, then that's different. Then, then the movie ending saying, like, then they were guilty and found guilty and sentenced for life. Touche. So, um, um, that one scene when he was, like, confessed and you'll get a lighter sentence, that kind of reminded me of a thing I saw that cops used to do. I think it was in uh, the 1900s, and it was somewhere, but... If there was a crime, they would take people they suspected and they would put them in solitary confinement for days. And then they'd take them back out and say, did you do it? And if they said no, they'd put them right back into solitary yeah, confinement. Yeah, I heard about that too. For days on end until they finally said, yeah, I did it. Yeah, just so they get out of, so out of solitary confinement. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, let us know if you guys saw the movie and um, and what you thought, well, how the movie is portrayed versus the, the real life event. Because like we said, it's, it's from what we see, it's still considered unsolved. The parents were... I guess actually put on trial for it, but found not guilty. So, you know, what do you guys think? Is it um, is it kind of clear cut for you guys, or is it still kind of a a big mystery? So, but yeah, thank you guys again so much for all the love and support on the channel. You guys continue to be awesome. Don't forget to let Rachel know it's an awful for her to be back there. Thanks, I'm guys. I'm sorry. Uh, everybody ready? Yep. In three, two, one. I win. <laughs> no. <laughs> Such a soft neck. Turn it the heck.